All right, all right, all right. Okay, guys. Today is the 4th of December, 2023. This is how I made my partner documentary. But it done day one over the weekend. So, proceed as day two today. Um, as I've already mentioned, the specifics, I'll keep on doing so because I think it kind of like helps you to have your eye on the ball and it kind of gives you uh, motivation to continue. And to see that actually you're providing a service to your community by by doing this so let me just give you the specific specifics again currently as we as i speak as we speak there's literally about 51 percent of a million female in the uk and ireland are, are currently single now as it stands uh the way it works out is um 86 percent of females 86 percent of females are waiting for us to approach them 86 percent of them right and uh 20 percent of gnc yes 20 percent of gnc uh regard that approach as borderline uh harassment but that's only 20 percent of gnc if you really think about it the other 80 percent of gnc don't feel that way so all together 86 percent of females are actually waiting for us to uh approach them as the man so i already started documenting my process doing that i went to central london but then now i'm going to see even just on your way to work on your way to the grocery these are all like ample opportunities for us to use um and i think the thing is entry having a good entry point you know so start striking up a conversation based on based on anything i'm going to go through some of the things that i've used that was quite effective so that we're all on the same page and in a kind of way you can then follow along um, as I actually employ these. Uh, but again, just really striking up that conversation and then keeping an eye out for the entry points. And you know, you have cue points that you have. You can't just like stop someone like in the middle of something. That's really being inconsiderate. Whereas, yeah, that's really being inconsiderate if you just stop someone in the middle of, maybe say them going to work, or whatever. But when I don't know, I give an example like in central London with the lady that I spoke to that uh, works in media. She works, she was on the tube sitting opposite to me. So that's really like a good setup already, she's sitting opposite to me. And at first I saw that she was engrossed in her, on, her, on her phone, so I didn't bother disturbing her. And then when she looked up and then she was like looking around, then I caught her eyes and then I mentioned, because she had a box of Krispy Kreme donuts. I was like, oh, you know, those are like my favorite. I mean, I'm, I'm, I said, no, what did I say? I said to her, no, I said, I'm jealous. And then she smiled, and then we started the conversation from that. And I found out that she actually works in media. She got the box of donuts actually for free because of the, the job she did for uh, Krispy Kreme. Uh, but just put that in mind, 86% of females actually need you to make the first move, to initiate the first move. And on the, on the, if, if, if it's not a good fit and they say no to you, then that's fine. It's rejection. As a guy, it's your job to go for that rejection. It's not her job it's your job so they're kind of waiting for you to make that approach now you're going to get like let me say 20 percent of them that would um look at you as a as a creep but that's only that's okay it's only 20 percent of them the other 86 percent of them actually require you to initiate that move anyway i'll keep you up to date peace out <laughs>